I'm it's is this true? Yes, I was the one who sent the invitations. Oh, yes. oh, yes. Okay, Linkara, I think we are all entitled to an explanation here. Okay, Mars Girl, when was the last time we saw each other? Back in the mansion hall. No, I mean before today. When was the last time we saw each other in person? I want to say we saw each other in person at a convention? Years ago, Mars Girl. The last time any number of us saw each other in person was my birthday party when we went into space again. Still don't buy that happened, by the way. Dude, shut up. Oh sure, like you say, we've seen each other at conventions on occasion, but for some of us, we've never met each other in person before. For some of us, those adventures we went on were the only time we got to see each other. <sighs> some of us didn't even get that. Exactly, I... I wanted to have those anniversaries again. Even when we were on the site, I wanted them to happen. The anniversaries were not fun times for us, Linkara. We were almost killed multiple times. We got blamed for things that weren't our fault. We were manipulated, lied to, disrespected, and intimidated. What the crispy blue fuck about those things made you want them again? What I want is for us to be happy! I want you guys to be happy for me! I want me to be happy for you! I want us to come together and celebrate a wedding, a birthday, anything! I want us to stand around drinking beer and quoting the room at each other! I want us to sit around a TV and riff on bad movies together! I want us to go to a hotel room and film a crossover! I want to feel like we're a family again and not just a bunch of people who used to be on a website! I'm not blind to what we all went through, but damn it, sometimes it felt like the only thing keeping us is friends. I want that feeling back. I want things back the way they were between us. I want us to be together again. No, that doesn't justify any of this. You got us here with a lie. You put us in danger because of something you wanted. The truth is, you could have just thrown a party or something, but that wouldn't have been enough for you. You wanted some big adventure where you got to play the hero. You want to relive the glory days, with the lies, the threats, and everything else that convinced us all to leave when we did. The truth is, you're no better than the site was. That... that's not fair. I was never going to put you guys in danger. I scouted this place for weeks before I sent out the invitations. The house was full of secret passages and rooms and stuff, but there was no magic. I just got some basic scares, a haunted house crap. Some sound technicians were going to play some spooky noises, set up some puzzles, and it'd be like an escape room or something. There was nothing demonic or mystical about any of it. But how did you even afford all this? International plane tickets renting the mansion. <sighs> Diamanda bankrolled it. No, oh, throw me under the bus, why don't you? Wait, Diamanda, you knew! I was the one who suggested the man in the first place. It wasn't cheap or easy either. Most airlines aren't allowed into Afghanistan anymore. Apparently they're afraid we'll shut them down or something. Which we would, by the way, and not even for any reason either. They just blocked my complete view of the sky. The sky must be clear of all obstructions, no matter how tiny they may be. The mistress's gaze must extend in all directions. I have them shoot at clouds sometimes because they piss me off too. I have personally dissipated 50 clouds to make my mistress happy. Whatever makes you happy, Hagen. The point is, none of this was supposed to happen. I was going to reveal it was me when we'd all finished the fun puzzles and exploring. I walked through it all myself and there were no demons, no zombies, no devil dolls, and sure as hell no otherworldly voices. And that's because you don't understand the nature of the evil in this place. What do you mean? Creatures like the voice, they feed off of life and consciousness. They're attracted to the psychic energies of our minds. The more of it there is, the more powerful they become. One person walking the halls isn't going to wake it up, but enough people. All gathered in one room together, we are the buzzing alarm clock for a malevolence that our minds cannot comprehend. Oh my god. When I scouted the mansion, I was alone most of the time. Exactly. I don't get it, though. The voice thing I understand, but there are ghosts in here? An evil killer doll? Zombies? Where the hell did those come from? I mean, Goofy Gary here has been pretty vocal about the voice coming to kill us all. At the very least, we know how Bobby Boris Pickett down here is connected. You guys have to do something to stop that thing. We can't let the voice assume a physical form again. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we listening to you now? Guys, everyone, I'm sorry. 
I just wanted us all to be together again, to be friends again. Considering we're all split up and pissed at you, you botched both of those, man. He's right, though. We have to stop that monster. This world is doomed if the voice gets out of this place. We could use some backup, though. It's just the four of us, and we're not exactly armed or anything. Mars Girl, you guys were on your way back to the main hall. Can you rendezvous with them? <sighs> Yeah, that isn't gonna happen. When Swade called, we had just gotten back to the hall. There's a new wall or shutter or whatever covering the door. That was not there before. The only shutter that was left was the one at the front entrance. Hmm, sounds like the voice may have more agents than we know running around. Can anyone else get to us? We are pretty far from where we first came in. It would take us a while to get back to you. The longer you wait, the sooner it'll be to the voice possessing that thing. And we're still stuck down here. We don't know how to get back up yet. Uh, looks like we're on our own. All right, we'll do what we can, but if you guys can get help down here, we'd appreciate it. We'll head back to the control room. Maybe we can raise up the shutters from there. What about the ghosts? We need to try to help Emma's spirit too. I definitely think you should try to help her. It's likely she's connected to all this. Based on what I've read, maybe the voice was influencing Anderson to get him to kill her. She might know of a way of stopping the voice. We'll do what we can. And we'll just continue on our slow path toward eventual doom. Good plan there. Look, before we all get back to it, I just want to say again, I'm sorry. You're all my friends, and I just wanted to remind everyone of that. And some of us are really good friends, isn't that right, Luke? Stop that, or there will be three ghosts in here! I just... I miss you all. <sighs> I think we're all going to have a long conversation with you when this is all over. But let's make sure there's going to be a when this is all over. Everyone check in when something new happens. Talk to you all later. Hopefully. Bye. 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 Okay, I think we need to keep doing research. Maybe there's something here that'll help. Wait, Erod, where are you going? Away from you. I cannot believe you did this, man. I know, I know. Again, I'm sorry. I did this all wrong. I just wanted to- Yeah, you wanted. That's all you freaking care about. I'm gonna go see if I can help the others with that creature. They're probably blocked in just like everyone else, but maybe on my own I can get through. Erod, wait, we have to stick together. Go to hell. Oh wait, we don't have to go there. You let us into it. Well, in the absence of any other information, I suggest we keep going through the lighted path. This just doesn't make any sense. What's all this for? The parts of the maze that absorb sound? The zombies? The lighted sections? Back. Run like you're being chased by zombies! It's getting darker! There are less torches ahead! Is it just me or are they getting faster? Come on, just run! No, Sally, not that way! There are no torches! Dead in! Dead in! Come on, we'll go back the other... Oh. Well, you're right. They were definitely faster. Okay, guys. Looks like we're gonna have to fight our way out of this. Have you been carrying a sword this whole time? Well, yes. The heck of a time getting it through customs, I'll tell you that. Yeah, the same thing happens to my swords whenever I travel. Those people on the bus were so uptight. Point is, I've got it. Everyone try and find something to defend yourselves with. Let's do what we can. So, why aren't they trying to eat us? Why aren't they doing anything? They're just standing there looking at us. They're not even trying to block our escape. Okay, get ready. I'm going to step in closer and try to figure this out. I'm poking this thing with a sword and it doesn't even care. What the heck? Were we running away from these things for nothing? Good job, guys! We won! Should we just keep moving? What? No! They're just going to start chasing us again! But they could chase us down this way, but they're not. We killed Alex earlier and they- I grabbed her! We've got to help her! No, it's too late! That was a fast transformation. Don't let them touch you. Looks like it's spread that way. Then I don't know if we really can fight them if we can't touch them. Not all of us have swords. I knew I should have had Dom bring the swords. Technically, more than one of us has a sword. I just couldn't bring mine. Damn bus passengers. Well, I'm not going to sit here and wait for them to decide to attack. I vote we try to run past them and keep on going. I'm inclined to agree. What about you guys? Running sounds good. Yay, exercise. I feel like that's the only thing we've been doing in our segment. Okay, count of three. One, two, three! Oh, 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 oh,
They're right behind us! Keep running! As if we were gonna stop! Okay. Are we all clear on the plan? Mike fends off Dr. Frankenstein if he comes out, you hold down the monster, Lovecraft gives it an overdose of chemicals, and I stand in the back making pointed witticisms. Sounds good! Jerk. Fine, fine, I help hold down the monster. <sighs> Why couldn't Linkara have just gathered everyone at Disney World and filmed a movie there? I don't see how that could go wrong. Okay, let's go do this. <laughs> Let's remain quiet and do what we can. Right, let's see what they have over here. Sodium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid. Ah, here we are. Benzodiazepine, better known as Valium. Will that kill it? With a high enough dosage and combined with some other material, I believe so. Dumb question, but why aren't we just injecting every set of give we see here? Oh, we will rest assured. I have no idea how much of any of these is necessary to kill something like this, but we're starting with a sedative so that it doesn't wake up in the middle of us randomly injecting things into it. Please, hold it down, gentlemen. Uh, ready. Shit. What the? How did you get down here? Eat phone! Why, why, why did you- Damn, it had no effect. Did you think it would? Well, I had to live in hope. On the plus side, I'm pretty sure it's not actually damaged. Uh, that thing looks a lot bigger than a scalpel. I cannot allow you to interfere at this critical juncture! Mr. Jevons, if you would please keep him back. Ooh. Oh, hiding. Next to the doorway, were you? Clever little critics, you can't stop the voice! Sure as hell gonna try. <laughs> so, what are you, some kind of hero, a would-be defender of this world? Nope. I'm just a British person. <laughs> Ooh, nice one, man. Yep, good job. Okay, Lovecraft, let's wrap this up before this thing decides to wake up. Right, I, I think I've got it. So, can I let it go now? Oh, I'm sorry, did you think I was done? Because I've decided to just keep injecting things into it until it's a puddle of viscous fluid. Well, how long will it take to see? Not long at all. I'm letting go of it now. We, we did it. We actually stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Crazy Pants, uh, usually when your evil scheme is foiled, it's not the time to be laughing. Oh, you foolish ingrates. My name is Dr. Vivisen, and you have saved nothing! <laughs> Okay, so I think some jerk with a camera was over there when everything started happening. So he probably would have been closest to this door. Sealed up, just like the others. Hammer time, I think. Zombies? Must be the same ones in the maze. Well, sorry to say it's bad news for you guys. I really, really want to hit something right now. And you just happen to be in range. Let's get dangerous. Hey, let go of that. Hey, damn it all, you better not bite me. Ah, let go of me, you stupid. No, no, what did you? Ugh. Okay, that's over with. Again? Anyone have any ideas? Mostly? I'm thinking about how none of this makes any sense. Why are they ghosts and not anybody else? Well, it's possible we just haven't found any other ones yet. It's a big house. Yes, 
But according to Dina, there were lots of people who died in this house during its construction, during the time when Scarsdale lived. And I think I overheard Lovecraft saying there was some big catastrophe right before it closed its doors that got a lot of people killed. Why these two in particular? Why hasn't anyone else run into any ghost? Could be a ghost possessing that doll. I guess, but the way they described it didn't sound like that was what was going on. Well, as the resident expert on all things macabre, I can tell you that there are any number of reasons why ghosts are made. Usually there's an act so heinous that it produces strong emotions that become embedded in the soul. The dead linger, unable to move on because of some unfinished task that needs to be completed. So what's the task that she needs to finish? I've been with you guys the whole time. I have no idea. Okay, let's let's Sherlock this shit. None of us can read lips, so we don't know what they're saying. But what are they doing? Are they pointing at anything? Are they going somewhere? The attic. She's always trying to get up to the attic, but he shoots her before she can make it all the way up. Okay. So maybe we help things along? We've seen how they just pass right through us, so maybe one of us holds the attic door open so she can get inside faster? That's a start, but it'd help more if we could stop the guy from shooting his gun. Well, we don't have to stop him from shooting as much as distract him from shooting long enough for her to get up there. I wonder how we feel if a few bottles of wine were dropped right in front of him. You know, when you think about it, we're basically ghosts to them. Yeah, let's try not to follow the same career path. Well, today sucks. <sighs> Isn't it nice that we only get together when someone we thought was our friend betrays us and puts us in a life or death situation? I'm going to make thank you cards for these kind of occasions when this is all over with. Thank you for almost getting us murdered. All right, look, let's be a little fair to the guy. It wasn't like he deliberately put us in any danger. He still lied to us and manipulated us. <sighs> Honestly, I'm more disappointed than angry. He should know better than this. Well, hey, at least we got an actual apology this time. Granted. Uh, I just expected better of him. Understandable. I mean, you guys have known each other for a long time, right? Yep, over ten years now. We met while hitting each other. And how long have you known me for? We only met here. I don't get- uh, See, I've just been wondering, did Linkara have a bit of a point? About what? Well, when there was that big talent drive that brought a lot of the new producers on, we were greeted warmly enough by the old guard, but we were just mostly all doing our own thing, and there was never really any time we were with each other. Which was, which, you know, which I, you know, I was fine with at first. I mean, I was still reeling from the fact that I even got brought on, but then nothing really happened. We never met before until tonight, and I'm willing to bet that there's a lot of people that you guys have never met as well. Hey, it's not exactly easy to just fly out to people. Oh, oh, no, 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 please, I'm, I'm not judging. It just, what I'm trying to say is that I think a lot of us didn't really come together like we should have. So maybe some kind of big gathering was called for. Admittedly, Linkar's choice of doing it in a haunted house and not telling us what he was doing was incredibly stupid, but at least his heart was in the right place. And even if things are a bit scary or tense or, well, apocalyptic right now, I'm still glad I came and met everyone. Hmm. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just babbling. It's my tangent this time. No, no, it's fine. Well, let's worry about that later. I think we've reached the control room again. Yeah, still has that fresh corpse scent. Mm, yeah, I I think I'm gonna go find something to cover that up. Okie doke, let's see what we can find about those shutters. Uh, wait, is that? <gasps> oh crap, guys, look at the monitor. That's a, uh, uh, I, I don't know everyone's name. Erod. Right, and he's being dragged away by those zombies. Quick, lower the shutters, cut them off. Uh, no, no, it's too late, they're gone! Damn it! Damn it! It didn't look like they were biting him or anything. That doesn't make it better! It does, though. It means he might not turn into a zombie. There's a chance we can rescue him. Well, not us, anyway. But I'm texting Lankara now. His group may still be able to get to him. I think this computer's the one that controls the shutters, Mars Girl. Not what I'm looking for. Huh? One of the things listed on the invoice was a 5-terabyte portable hard drive. 
I'm thinking the crew here may have recorded everything that happened. And maybe they recorded what happened before this all started. And bingo. This file has footage recorded from an hour before people started arriving. Ah, there. One corpse fully covered. Good thinking. Ah, that fresh linen smell. You know, it really covers up that rotting flesh stench. Yeah, fair point. Somebody want to help me move this? Wouldn't have been the first time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, what? Don't ask. Here, Mars Girl, I can probably remote access that file, too. Let's start looking at the footage. <laughs> Ah, uh, Goofy Gary apparently has decided to wake up. Yeah, kick him or something, that should shut him up. <clears throat> oh my god, I found something. What is it? It looks like it's a room that displays stuff from Scarsdale's collection. I is that? Yes, it is. And look what she's doing with that thing in the display case. Is that a statue? <laughs> uh, he got the tape off his mouth. It's an effigy. <laughs> And it's becoming- Now you see who it is, the real threat to your Earth. And all because you stumbled upon Goofy Gary's birth. Help me get some tape back on him and- Wait, in that footage, is that- Now you'd better stockpile your stuff like water, fuel, and food, because it's all too clear to you, your world is very screwed. I, I can't keep this up much longer. Yeah, I hope we're getting somewhere. There! Up ahead! Looks like a big chamber! Maybe the end. Yeah, definitely the end. For us. Chamber? Are there any stairs? Okay, well, well, let's look around it. Oh my goodness! What the hell is that thing? A statue? It looks petrified, that's for sure. It's huge! It's almost as tall as this whole chamber! What gets me are the eyes. Or, well, the eye holes, I should say. I can't see anything inside those things. It looks like it was in pain when it died. That expression on its... mouth, I guess? I dare you to look at its mouth. No! What is this place? And what are we... Zombies! Okay, let's get ready to fight some zombies. Or not. They're not coming in after us. Were they... Were they trying to get us here? Is that why they didn't attack us in the dead end? But why would they want us here? We hear you. Did you find Erod? No, nor any sign of where the zombies took him. Damn it, we shouldn't have let him go off on his own. Didn't stop you from going off on your own. Yeah, yeah. I don't suppose you found anything else out? Oh boy, well, I've reached the final entry. Listen to this. <clears throat> Tomorrow night, my terrible dreams will finally end. It may have been madness to try to live in this house while it was still under construction, but it was necessary. I needed to ensure that everything was built properly. My foe thinks it controls me, that I will enable its escape into our world. But now the house is ready, the job is done. When it emerges in the tomb, it will not be met by its scout, sent ahead with murderous intent to test our defenses. Instead, locked away in a display case. Nor by its herald, her scream harmonizing and stabilizing the dreadful noise of its voice. Anderson saw to that. And that voice will never leave its prison. The dungeon maze that I have lined with material that will halt its echoes. Even now it reaches out with its servants to prepare for its arrival, but that will not be so. I have spent weeks in preparation for this moment, and I shall run through the lock one final time tomorrow. And may God save us all, should I fail to be fast enough. And that's the end. Lovecraft told me about what happened the next night. Scarsdale and his assistant fleeing the mansion and sealing it up. The voice was trying to make Scarsdale summon it, but instead he imprisoned it. This house is a trap. It was meant to contain the voice, but we've set it free. We woke it up, but we haven't set it free. No, we have. Calling Kara. Warn him about- I was sent ahead, you know, to see just what you had. 
Your weapons couldn't kill me, though. It really is too bad. Oh, uh, what are you babbling about, Crappage Patch Kid? If you killed me, it would know you could resist its might. But since you failed to end me here, it's time for the real fight. You cannot stop the voice now with your weapons shot or chucked. And because you cannot kill the voice, you are truly out of luck. The doll is its scout, sent ahead to test us. We hear you. We hear you. We hear you. Ah, uh, did you all hear that? Well, the zombies certainly hear something. Uh, look what we're standing on. Something's glowing. It looks like some kind of weird symbol. Like something mystical. We hear you. The lock is open. The maze underground. It's a mystical lock to keep the voice imprisoned. But if a group of people travel through it the right way and it opens up... Guys? <laughs> why are you still laughing? Look, without the creature, there isn't a body for the voice to inhabit. You fool! I built a body that could permanently be possessed by the voice. It is still capable of possession. Regardless! Gentlemen? Whatever body it takes possession of will burn up trying to house its power, and it will simply jump into another body when it's done. My friends? And since the voice was supposed to come and take its body, well, it will pick someone to take. My fellows? Lovecraft what? What is it? I... I hear something. The trap wasn't sealed properly, though. The construction wasn't done entirely right, so the voice was able to let some of it through, whispering into people's minds, influencing them through the walls, even if it couldn't fully escape. Okay, is everyone in position? Five bottles of wine, ready to be chucked at a wall. Luke and I are ready to make some noise. Still don't know why I got paired up with you on this, but I'm indeed ready. Ready to just start up turning furniture and knock over bases and basically do whatever it takes to stop Anderson. All right, and I am ready with the attic door. Let's try to save Emma. We had it all wrong. Emma was the caretaker of Scarsdale's collection, including all the stuff related to the voice. It turned her into its herald, and Anderson was trying to stop her. The power of the voice preserved them as ghosts so that someday someone would free her, and her scream will stabilize it and allow it to roam free. Quick, we've got to warn them. Call Maven and tell them not to stop the ghosts. Right, I'm on it. Manion! At once, mistress! The Amanda, what the hell are you doing? Aiming a gun at you, you quasi-viking snow fancier. We've got to warn the others. We could be inadvertently bringing the voice back to life. You fucking tube. I was the one who recommended this place. I was the one who bankrolled this trip. What makes you think that isn't exactly what I want to have happen? 